What thing make I talk again? Make it true you know it's in the apple. I don't tell them now. Get true, they don't tell you what's in the apple. I tell them, say, I ain't talking. Make I go carry my chicken. Make I microwave the chicken. I said, I ain't chicken. I said, I'll be What is a party without after party drama? So Nelly walks into the kitchen and saw Suj with Victoria. Not just that Nelly saw Suj with Victoria, that is the issue. That's not why she is nagging, no, and fighting with Suj. She said she met Suj in a position that was questioning. So guys, we're going to be talking about all of that in this video. Watch the very end so you get the whole details. Don't skip any parts. You're hey, welcome to G's vlog. My name is Preshi K. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. So that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the very first to be notified. The housemate obviously had enough to drink last night and they partied really hard. And the likes of uh, Nelly and Onyeka, I guess they were tipsy or drunk last night because that's what they were really acting out last night. Starting from Nelly, Nelly walks into the kitchen. She might have seen something because we are the we the viewers we only see what coyote or the camera shows us and look at what the camera shows let me play it then we'll continue talking so the video you watched now that was when nelly walked into the kitchen and saw what she saw that started the fight she walked into the kitchen and she said immediately she walked into the kitchen Suj was carrying his hand up and making some kind of sounds. So that was what got to her. She felt or she saw that because we, the viewers, we didn't see. So she's insinuating that Suj's hand was on Victoria's body or neck, whatever it, wherever it was. And Suj saw her and was raising it up and making those sounds. That he would have stand, stand on his, uh, stood on his ten toes, you know, do it with his full chest and kept his hand where his hand where if he was not disrespecting her. Nelly. So that was the problem. That was just it. And Nelly, you know, after microwaving her chicken, went upstairs and started, uh, you know, acting up, giving attitude. She was telling this to OC and um, Tofa, who we are still, you know, trying to explain and tell her, convince her that uh, Suj, the HOH, could not and would not do that. But Nelly was not having it. She was insisting that something was wrong and you know, Suj was doing something. It was as Suj uh, stood outside. You know, he was just standing outside and you know, if dropping to what they were saying inside the house, like <laughs> as if you know, you know, person will be saying, "Madam, don't you know, don't they uh, angry with him and chased him outside?" Like that was the vibe that he was giving. But it got to the point that Nelly was really emotional about the whole situation. She was now crying to Anita. And Anita even got angry with Suj for just sitting there and you know, watching her cry and you know, not even coming to pacify her, everything. Like, looking at that situation, Nelly might have saw something. Or, you know, because she she's emotionally attached to Suj and she's tipsy, you know, something could have just, you know, been made up in her mind and she might not have seen anything but we cannot judge it fully because this is what Kyle they showed us this is what we saw in the camera we didn't see when the hand was every um, anywhere so according to Nelly she said something is wrong and Nelly knows Suj better they are in the house together maybe she might have seen something you know and also Suj maybe might, might be trying to resolve a problem with uh, Victoria because uh, Suj and Victoria have not really had any you know good conversation in that house like have a proper conversation open up get to know each other it has never happened between these two and you know what uh wani and the uh, wani the comments wani made last sunday pointing that suj and sofa has been disrespecting their partner i guess that's what you know, nelly might have thought about and she angry you know and having the whole fight and crying or even to the point of crying because she said suj was disrespecting her that if he was not disrespect he wouldn't have you know carried his hand up and huh. it was a whole lot of explanation last night from OC and Tofa but you know Nelly was having it that it was just men uh, defending their fellow men but thankfully they settled last night and they went to bed you know because Suja had to take her out and explain to her that it was not what she saw but Nelly knew what she saw and then she was still explaining while all of this was happening it was Onyeka who was also tipsy and OC catering for her. You know, she carried food upstairs and feeding Onika. And OC was like, 
things that he doesn't do that he has been doing it like he has found himself doing things that he doesn't even know that he can do well that was really cute to see uh oc looking out for oneka in her uh, uh, tipsy state so guys that was all that happened last night after the party share your thoughts with me in the comment section thank you for watching to the very end don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you on the very next video bye